Praise Him when it's going good. Praise Him when it's going bad. Just praise Him. Everything that hath breath, praise the Lord. Amen. We welcome you this morning. Is it morning? Well, we'll welcome you this afternoon, this evening. And uh, But we're just glad that you're here. That uh, we've come in to uh, worship and be blessed and hear what God has for us. Would you join with me in prayer? Father, I'm thankful for this day. Lord, you gave me breath. You gave me strength. And Lord, as we traveled and visited around, you kept us safe. And I bless your name and I praise your name. And we've come into your house, Lord, and joined together to bless your name and to hear what you have for us. Lord, that we might grow and know, understand more what you're wanting us to do in this life. Bless us, Lord, as we will return that blessing to someone else. Lord, we praise you and magnify your name. Let us bless the Lord together and continue singing. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of the Lord. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh 
What has he done for you? One of the greatest things he's ever done for me was to take me out of sin and cleanse me. Now, I want to tell you, I've been between some not and hard places. Anybody know what I'm talking about? And if it hadn't been for the Lord, I don't know where I would be. Let's sing that chorus a, a time or two again. Come on. Bless him. Bless him with all within. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. For He has done great What has He done? He has done great seated in his presence. Isn't the Lord good? Good to see Sister Angela with us tonight. Good to have my sister. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hasn't the Lord been good? How many of you would like to go to Pennsylvania? We might be good. Are we going? Come on up. We was trying to make connections to Pennsylvania, give you a free trip there. Then ear internet, and uh, we have some some things. Um, I got a call from Pastor beforehand, and there's you know their international student convention. Brendan is competing 
He competed in two categories, Bible preaching ages 16 and up, and in stringed bowed solos. Because they have so many events, they decided to give some of the awards tonight, and they had said they would do the awards for preaching tonight, um, and his name was called uh, a few minutes ago, so Pastor was going to see if we could tune in live to see as his name was called and he walked across the stage for his placing, but I'm happy to report that at International Student Convention, so there are 2,000 plus delegates uh, competing in various events from all over the world, Brendan placed sixth place in the preaching category. Great, isn't that great? Uh, with this time we're going to turn over to uh, Pastor Michael. Was well, everybody had a blessed night? Praise the Lord! I wanted just to uh, just let you know that tomorrow night we will not be having service at Spirit Life. So if you, any of you had plans of going tomorrow night. We have no service, but it's a good reason. Justin is graduating tomorrow. At, it's at uh, three o'clock at Amway, so uh, we're going to um, be there. And then Saturday at 5:30, we're going to gather here at the Fellowship Hall for uh, Justin and Desiree's graduation party. So uh, you're all invited for that. And then uh, I believe Sunday is uh, Sunday school and church. And then, uh, then Sunday night, we I think there's going to be a special thing here also. So, so praise the Lord. You know, I tell you, it's amazing to me that Justin is already graduating, and uh, he's got big plans. So, y'all just be praying for him. I don't know if y'all heard, but come August the ninth, he's talking about getting married. So, <laughs> be be with us. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and we'll get ready for our uh, tithes and our offerings as the ushers come on up. Yes, junior praise team, come on up. Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord. I thank you that we're able to come into your house, Lord, and feel your presence, Lord, already, Lord. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you just continue, Lord, to move upon us, Lord. Lord, just anoint this service, Lord. Lord, I thank you for all that you've done, Lord, and what you're doing, Lord. Lord, I pray that you'll move upon each and every one that's here tonight, Lord. You know what they need, Lord, and I just thank you, Lord. Just praise your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> At this time, we'll go ahead and dis dismiss our classes. Not near as many as normal going out.
we'll also go ahead and take our prayer request. Do we have anything on this side? Any prayer request on this side? Sister Tanya? remember JC and that he'll get strength and just be with and God will be with him also sister Tanya's throat Mary, sister Mary let's remember sister Mary's sister God is good all the time. Anybody else? And also, Sister Maureen. Sister Maureen's family. Brother Walcott's family. Let's agree with that because we know that God is able to move in that midst. Anyone else on this side? Anyone on this side? Brother Renfro? Let's remember Pastor Myers. Anyone else? Traveling mercies. Let's pray for that. God, we know we just heard God, God is in is able. God can supply all the needs. Let's remember David and Debbie Summerall and also Sister Jane. Brother, Sister Renfro? Brother Renfro? I mean, Sister. Let's remember Brother Leroy. Let's remember that need. Sister Ashbury? Let's remember Sister Mary. Anyone else? Okay. 
Anyone else? Any special unspoken requests? Now, as we go, let's remember, as I always say, let's agree together because there is power in agreement. Where, so as we pray, let's agree together. And I'm expecting that when we pray that God's going to move on each one of these behalfs because he said, ask, and it shall be given. So if we ask and we believe, God will move. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you and we praise you, Lord, for who you are. And we thank you that you are our healer and our provider. We thank you that you are the one who can move mountains. And we thank you that you're the one who can bring peace where there is no peace. And we thank you that you're the one that can make a way where there is no way. And Lord, we just thank you for who you are. And we give you glory and honor for what you have done for us. We thank you that you're our Savior and our soon coming King. And we just thank you for your goodness and your grace and your love and your mercy, God. And Lord, well, I pray that you remember each need. I pray that you remember J.C. Touch his body right now. Strengthen him, Lord, and be with him. Touch his body. Heal him. Let your healing power flow right now in his body, Lord. Lord, you said it's by your stripes we are healed, and we stand firm on your word. And know that if you said it, we can call it done, and we call it done right now. We pray for Sister Tanya right now that you touch that throat right now, Lord, and just you know the situation there, and I ask that you touch it right now. Strengthen that th throat right now, Lord, and let her, as she leaves tonight, let it be completely well right now, Lord. We pray for Sister Mary's sister right now that you strengthen her, touch her, Lord. Be with her, Lord, and give her that touch that she needs, Lord. And I just say that you wrap your arms around her. Let her know that you're right there with her and that you've got it all under control, God. Lord, we pray for the, the praise report that Brother Peden gave. We thank you that you are a God who cares and a God who can make a way where there is no way. A God that is able and it cares enough to supply our needs, God. Lord, we pray that you touch Brother Peden right now. You know the need there. You know the situation, God. I ask that you touch Brother Walcott's family move in that situation Sister Maureen's family right now that you move right now Lord and I pray for Mackenzie Lord that you touch her body right now you know that situation you know what she needs you said let the little ones come to you and Lord I pray right now that you touch that need Lord touch that family right now as they're going through this situation God we thank you that you're a God who cares and a God who can move God God I ask that you move in that situation Lord we pray right now that you just move in every situation we pray for David and Debbie Summerall right now you know that need and I pray that you just wrap your arms around them and love them and strengthen them as they go through what they're going through sister Jane that you touch her body right now, God. And God, that you move, Lord. Travel the mercy for Brother Mike's family as they come down this way, Lord. Just be with them. Give them traveling mercies. We pray for Sister Mara's need, that situation there, and but Rebecca's grandfather, that you touch the body right there. Lord, and that you just move, Lord, and all the other requests that my mind just went blank on, but you're, you're able and you know the needs and the situations, Lord, and I ask now that you just touch. We thank you for all that you've done, and I agree right now with my church family that we're going to hear good report, miracles of what you've done this very hour, that they'll look back and trace it to this time and this very hour that they can say that it has been changed. Lord, I ask now we get ready to go into your word, Lord, that you touch the speaker, that you anoint him, that you make him preaching easy, Lord. Lord, open our hearts and ears to hear what you have to say. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we'll give you the glory and honor for what you're doing right now. For it's in your name we pray. Amen. And it gives me honor and pleasure to introduce my friend, my brother, Brother Walcott. As he comes, let's give him a hand. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Hallelujah. 
it is a pleasure and an honor. I thank God to be here, who is the head of my life. Then I want to say to all the great preachers that are here tonight, and to our pastor, who God bless, and his family to let me in this pulpit to preach his word. I thank him. Because truly, you don't have to go far to see a man of God. Because if you've been around a lot of people, a lot of people say that they are Christians. And it does not take long for you to find out if they are Christian, yes or no. But when you are being around a man of God, you can talk what you know. If you can't say anything, don't say anything at all. So it is so... I'm so grateful to be here tonight. I was coming from the airport first thing, and uh, my brother asked me to drop him off, and the traffic was so terrible. And believe me, I have to hurry to get back here, but thank God I'm here. Hallelujah. I could have been passed off on the highway, but somehow God made it possible that I made it here. And, and I want to thank my wife. Everywhere I go preaching, she's with me. And I always worried sometimes when she said, Carlton, don't worry. God will make it right. And I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 7. And uh, all week long I was, don't think what to preach. I was reading my Bible and I said, Lord, I need something. Because if you look what is going on in the world today, it is terrible. We are in a terrible time. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you another day, another night, my God, that you have made. Hallelujah. We are your people. This is your word. My God, if there's anything that is in me that is not right, burn it out, my God, with your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. My God, let me confess before you, Lord. But because of your blood and your grace and your mercy, my sins are forgiven. And your word is pure. In Jesus' name, amen. Genesis chapter 7, I'm reading from verse 17 to verse 23. And the flood was 40 days upon the earth. And the water in ceases and bear up the ark. And it was lifted up above the earth, and the waters prevailed, and were increased greatly upon the earth. And the ark went upon the face of the waters, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth. And all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered, fifteen cubits upward, like the waters prevailed, and the mountains were covered. I'm just going to stop at the 20. Could we do be seated, please? I want to say, first of all, God's word is true. And God's word is pure. And when we look around today and see how many people are dying, let's talk about our young people before I get deep into the scripture. And I'm not a long preacher, but I pray that when I bring the word, the word must take forth. And when you look at our young people, their soul of getting far away from God. And more guns are using to kill more people more than ever. That's showing that I'm talking about in the country that I live. And I heard a lot of people said, well, they don't love America. I love America. I am a citizen of America, and I always tell my wife, I live in America. If it comes down to it, I will fight and die for America, because that's where I live, and that's where I sleep. But our young people and guns are killing so much people. I don't know if you think about it. And it bothers me. First thing comes to my mind, you know, do not forget God. Because once 
you forget what God has done for you, you're going to stray. The devil is on the loose. Hallelujah. And I was thinking that all the ministers that come in this pulpit before me and preach and go to other churches and preach. Now this pulpit don't use for a puppy show nor a show. This is a holy ground. And it's here to preach holiness and repentance to every sinner, every boy and every girl. And when you stand back, especially if you're a preacher and see so many people dying, if it does not bother you, if you're a child of God, something is wrong. I'm pretty much sure there is nothing wrong with Jesus. Because Jesus already paid the price for our sin. My God have mercy, I worship you. I'm not getting away from my scripture. I'm going to go right into my scripture. But I'm just going to lay a foundation. Hallelujah. You see, the nation that forget God shall surely perish. Now, I come to think about it. And I said, you know, the few Christianity who left in the world that are praying the true prayer, probably they are the ones that are saving it from the flood. Glory. Because once you are a child of God and you got a mind made up to serve him, your prayers goes up on God here. And when you pray and you weep, it stop him in his chop. And he will listen to your calling. So our young people is dying by the dozen, by the half dozen. Why is that happening in our world today? Especially in America. You can't send your kids to school without, oh my God, wonder what's going to happen today. The devil is on the loose. Glory. So many things are happening around the world. Not only in America, but around the world. You got lesbian preacher. You got people who backslide and take the Bible for their own self and they're preaching the word. Now listen to me good. Some of those people have kids in their house. Hallelujah. And if the spirit of God don't dwell in your house, the devil will find something to give someone to do. So let us say the devil is corrupting the world. Listen to this. God told Noah to build an ark. Now, every Sunday, pastor come and preach. Pastor Winfrey preach. Pastor Mike preach. What they are preaching? Are you going to make it to heaven? They are preaching repentance, didn't they? And I'm pretty much sure, pastor, you've been preaching for a while. And they're preaching repentance. Right, Pastor Ricky? And it's a long time from I was a small boy. My mother is telling me Jesus is coming. So God told Noah, build the ark. Why God told Noah to build an ark? Because the people were corrupt. The people were corrupt. So saints, look. If you come to this door one day and it's you alone in here, pray and get out. Pray your prayer and leave and get out because God hear you. If no one shows up, God hear. Because the gate is open right now. Hallelujah. So who wants to come in? The church door is open. People know that church is going on Sundays, Saturday, three days a week. Now, it is your choice if you want to get in or not. God told Noah, build an ark. Why? Because of corruption. So God wants to see if you work by the flesh. My God of mercy. Hallelujah. The flesh, 
you're going to reap corruption and you must reap corruption because the Bible said they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth hallelujah so my text is Noah's Hark and the reason why I choose this text is because when I look around what's going on today the hark is open right now who is gathering in the hark who is gathering in the hark only the child of God we see are gathering in the hark we gather here right now we say put up hands if you know you're a true child of God I think all of us in here will put our hands up where is the sinner where is the sinner they are minding their own business and the word is preaching day and night hallelujah and there is no one to say I come to Jesus glory so God told Noah build the ark let's see what's going to happen now this is striking to me build the ark the ark have no engine like now we have both of hinging you can turn it anywhere you want to look how my God is awesome build an ark now in those days you can't even build an engine but God is the master he is the engine now I build the ark now what about the water coming in that's that, that, that's pretty stiff if you build an ark what you got, what's material you're going to take to seal the wood so that the water don't come in now there goes God give Noah another success a victory to build the ark so what kind of wood you're going to use hallelujah God told Noah what kind of wood to use to build the heart. Glory. So although the word is preaching from Monday to Sunday and you don't get anybody to said, you know, I come to Jesus. Don't worry. Because a day is coming. When God himself shall come down from the heaven. And the scripture said the waters prevailed and were increased upon the earth. And the ark went of the face of the waters. Now, how comes the ark was just drifting and it never turned over? They're never hungry. But the ark just just drift no engine to direct it God's unchanging hand I said God unchanging hand so many times we find ourselves in difficulties ready to give up I don't know about you but I ready to give up sometimes do ready to give up but just as you left to fell over he reached down and he picked you up saints of God God will never forget you no matter what you're going through God will never forget you said so the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein and the waters prevail exceedingly upon the earth and all the high hills that they were under the whole heaven were covered you can't hide from God I said you can't hide from God because the reason why I read this part of the scripture is because the rain falls so much so much that all the mountains and the hills were covered and not a soul save except Nawar and his family a donkey was saved hallelujah a little hunt was saved glory a howl was saved 
A crow was saved. A dove was saved. Hallelujah. He said every living creature was saved in the ark. Where is man? Where is man? The Bible said they were all drowned. The water was so high. The tallest mountain as a Mount Everest. It probably covered over. Because God was showing that he is God. And no matter what you do, the wicked cannot prevail against you. Because you are called from the call out. And when you are called from the call out. No devil from hell can prevail against you. Because you are born again washed in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Because God is a great God. Let me tell you something a little bit. There was a man who was going to baptize one time. And the preacher take him down to the brook. And this is a true story. And when he put him down, he hold his hands up like this. So after the preacher finished, he asked him, why did you hold your fist up like this? He said, the reason why my fist did not go down is because after I come up out of the water, if anybody bother me, I'm going to knock them down. <laughs> you can't do like that and say you're a child of God. Hallelujah. Because instead of you fight the enemy, the enemy will fight you. And they will win. Glory. We are living in a time now where the enemy is testing the Christian people. You ever notice nowadays you have more tests more than ever? Why? Jesus is coming. So every day your test going to be more vigorous. Because he is coming. Christian people, Jesus is coming. You got to hold fast. Believe me, I get tests at my job. But when I remember the wondrous cross and which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but lost and poor content and all my pride. Glory. So everybody was drowned around the ark. Only left Noah and his family and the animals. Hallelujah. So you want to tell me that the animals care more than man when it comes to the word of God? Because I don't think Noah went outside and gathered them up. God let them walk in peer by peer. God let them walk in peer by peer. So you see, man have a hardened heart. Not only today, but for a long time. Glory. But I'm glad that Jesus paid the price. I said I'm glad that Jesus paid the price. I'm not the boy I used to be. Glory. I have repent and be baptized. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Bible said when you go down. You come up as a brand new man. Your thought must change. Hallelujah. Whatever you think, you got different thinking. You got to listen to the spirit of God. When you're a child of God, don't think the devil don't talk to you, you know. I can prove it. I can prove it. When you're a child of God and you're going to do something wrong, I was a backslider, I can tell you. There's one spirit that said, don't do it. And the other one said, sure. Doesn't matter. If you're a Christian, you must learn to listen to the still voice. Glory. That still voice that tells you, look, don't go that way you're going because it's the wrong way. Why are we so disobedient? If you don't listen to the voice of God, 
you will end up somewhere you're not supposed to. Hallelujah. And when you fall, don't blame Jesus because he never sent you there. You go by your own self. Because if you go without the spirit, you will lose. But when you follow the spirit, you come out as conqueror. Hallelujah. Now think about it. If all those people that now are preaching for 120 years. All that time he was preaching. It's going to rain. Come on. It's going to rain. They were mocking him. It's going to rain. Now what are you building a hawk for? It's going to rain. Where you get that news from? It's going to rain. My God, hallelujah. Who tell you that, Noah? It's going to rain. I, I could see Noah look up in the sky and say, it's going to rain. Because God told Noah that it's going to rain. So we have a choice. Believe the man who preached the word. And said it's going to rain. Hallelujah. What are you doing now? It's going to rain. God is coming. I can feel it in my soul. Come quick Lord Jesus. It's going to rain. Hallelujah. So now I was preaching. Rain is coming. No one was not listening at all. They go on their merry way. Look, 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 about, look, look about the big thing that they have. Football, soccer, cricket, all those games. Hollywood, thousands of people line up. Thousands. Thousands of people line up to get their prize. Some people cry when they get it. They are so happy. But I'm glad my crown is in heaven. Hallelujah, waiting for me. I may not have money here, but I have the blessing of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. All the sickness. Listen to me good. We're all going to die. If you don't know, you know now. We're all going to die. But I'm looking forward. That's when this body is gone and this eye are closed. Hallelujah. I be with him forevermore. I don't have to pay no bills. I said I don't have to pay no bills. I don't have to worry about tomorrow. Because there will be no night dear. The Bible said the tree of life shall be dear. All cancer. Listen, I hate cancer. I hate cancer. That's one of the sickness I hate so much. The reason why. My mother and my dad passed away of cancer. And I curse it in the name of Jesus. You may not get better on this side of the world. Believe me. But by and by. By and by. When the morning come. We all shall get up. We will sing the story how we have come. We will understand him better by and by. So when you lay down and the sickness rocking on your body. And you can't get up in the morning because of pain. Don't worry. A day gonna come and my Lord shall heal my body. Glory. I shall be transformed out of this body. Into a new body. Glory. Will there be no pain? No cancer. No headache. But I'll be crying, holy. Holy Lord God, holy. Then I will see my Savior for myself. Oh, glory. In this flesh, you can't see him. Because this flesh is not worthy. But I'll be seeing him. And I'll be crying, holy. Holy Lord God Almighty. What a joyful time will be be. When I see my Savior for myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Imagine when your son or your daughter leave. And they leave for a long time. And you, you want to see them. But mama, 
I'll be right there. You don't see them. I'm telling you about the rapture. When I shall see the king. And when you look, you see Jesus. Oh, glory. The man that crucified for us. You see him. All that you have been through. My God. And he said, well done. He said, well done. I could see Jesus. Well done, my son. Hallelujah. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. In whom I am well pleased. Oh, glory. So if you can't shout, now me sorry for you. I am shouting in this flesh. As long as I can run and jump, I'm doing it. Because God has given me strength. Hallelujah. When I used to go to party, I used to party. Oh yes, I used to party, my wife will tell you. So when I come into the house of God, I'm a new man. I'm doing the Holy Ghost party. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. You can't make the world shut you up. Because if the world shut you up, you're in trouble. You are born again, Christian. Church of God, Christian, living fire. So you cannot make the world shut you up. If the world shut you up, you're in trouble. You ever go into the bank and cut on your own tongues? Glory. Who oh, believe me? I went to the bank the other day and I feel a spirit. And I just cut on your own tongues. The lady looked at me. He said, what is that? You have to burn again. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. You have to burn again. Jesus paid the price. We don't want heaven bells come knocking and we are not there at all. Mm -mm. You can pray for your kids, but you can't put them in there. Isn't God good? Every man of you have account for himself. I have a passport. Oh yes, Sister Angela, I have one. I have a passport. Glory. I said I have a passport to glory. Listen to me. I don't care who is in the White House. If they come to me and take this Bible away from me, that doesn't stop me from serving God. Because thy word have I hidden in my heart. Oh, glory. So every day you get up, you study your Psalms or a chapter, man. Because one day you might come and these do a close. Because the government might say, well, you're a church, you're making money, I'm going to tax you. What if the church can't pay the tax? The door will close. We probably have to meet in basement to worship. But thy word have I hidden in my heart. God is a good God. It doesn't matter who you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with the enemy and you see that he cannot handle you, he'll run. Now I give him two choices. Come to Jesus or run, leave me alone. I said I give him a choice. Come with me to Jesus or leave me alone. Because when you go, you must go with the word. And when the devil see you, they will know that you're a born again Christian. You don't joke. When it comes to Jesus, there is no joke about it. Very serious thing. I take Moses and mark it. This is what I do. I take Moses and mark it. Moses was a great man. None of us cannot fit in Moses' shoes. Did a great job. And Moses, take all the children of Israel, all the way. Pastor Rinfro sent you to win a garden for some water and you drink some before you come back when he tells you not to drink it. And because of that, he said, you're going to die for hungry. You will get this, but you're not going to get that. And that was Moses. Now, how about us? Think about it. How about us who cannot fit in Moses' shoes? Cannot do what Moses do. How about us? 
And every time, Christian people complain all the time. Believe me, we have the most problem. How are you today? Sure, I don't know. Listen to me. When you are blessed, I, I want the church to listen to me good. When you are blessed, what keep God people afloat all the time? They smile on their face because they have a happy, they have joy in their heart. And when you call by God and you smile all the time, that makes you look younger. Because the blessing of God is upon you. And no man cannot guess your age. Listen to me good. A man who drinks rum and curse from morning to night. A man who does not drink rum but he don't know Jesus and he's out of his mind. A man who knows Jesus and 109 years old, he can tell you what God said. He tell you what thus said the Lord. A man who drink the rum can't tell you that. Of course there is quote true scripture to you, but is he living right? Can't. So the children of God must always have a smile on their How are you today? Thank God. This is a good day. Because he didn't have to wake you up this morning. Some people think it's a right God have to wake them up in the morning. You do not have a right. He give us his blessing and his mercies. You don't know how many people around the world does not wake up to see the next day. Some of them as soon as they wake up, car just hit them across their, in front of their gate. But we have a right and a privilege, my God, to wake up in the morning and say, thank you, Jesus, it's another day. The sinner watching the church. Of course the sinner watching the church. People talk about, oh, I'm not a preacher. I don't have any public life. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you do. Once you said you're a Christian and you attend a true Christian church, people is watching you. Oh, I know you from somewhere, but I can't remember. And sooner or later, they're going to tell you. I, I buck up one of my co-workers. I never knew she's a church of God. Never knew. That's why we have to be so careful. Because you don't know who is who. And we went to Winter Garden Violent Road. She turned around and she looked at me. She said, you go to the Akori Church of God? I said, yeah. She said, I go to the one over there too. I said, what? Well, we know each other for years. What if I was doing something out of order? And we were for years, and I didn't know. When you're a child of God, there are certain aspects and certain examples you must set for the sinner to see. Hallelujah. If we complain too much, and every day we have a bad day, that's not good for the sinner, is it? Because if I'm running to the church and the church have a bad day, I'm not going at all. Because I'm afraid I have a bad day too. That's definitely what the sinner says. All of them is a hypocrite, I'm not going. Because of what church folks did. No, you can't curse the sinner because some of them don't know better. But we have to set an example. Knowing that Jesus is coming. Our mission is to gain soul for the kingdom of God. Preaching out of season. Preaching in season. Because most church not preaching sin anymore. Now listen to me. That's what drew me to Christ. I was a sinner. And the word preach. And when the word preach, I know I was a sinner. I need to be repented. Hallelujah. I need to go back to the cross. So the church must preach sin. Noah said it's going to rain. He said you're doing bad things. God wants your soul. It's going to rain. Noah said it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Monday is going to rain. Tuesday is going to rain. Wednesday is going to rain. Sunday rain start falling. Hallelujah. Some people said, all oh, that good time we have in the church, where is it? It ain't going nowhere. 
It's, it's not going anywhere. It's right in the church. There's nothing wrong with the building. It's how you come inside the building. Hallelujah. It's what you take in, you get. Don't expect a preacher to preach in Holy Ghost in you at all. It doesn't work like that. Mm -mm. You take the word and you suck it in your heart. Soak in it in your heart. That word will build you. That doesn't say you have to jump up and run and shout. No. Sometimes you just keep quiet and let the word just, just pierce your heart. Glory. When you leave and you see the enemy, the enemy flee from you because of the spirit you have inside of you. You don't know day by day when you left your house how many plots are up against you. You don't know. Because one man said if God should reveal it to you, you wouldn't go outside at all. Why you think you don't know when you're going to die? You don't know when you're going to die. Why you think who die already don't tell you that death is like this and death is like that? No, you got to know it for yourself. Hallelujah. So I'm worshiping the king. My God, what, what is gone behind? I left it behind. I'm not looking back at all. There's a bridge I have to cross. There's a race I'm running. I said there's a race I'm running. I, I am not looking back. I'm running a race. Pastor, I'm running a race. I'm not stopped till I finish my race. Because there's a crown and a home waiting for me. You don't want to come back to judge the world? I want to be here to judge the world. So I'm running a race and I'm not stopping till my race is finished. God did not brought you this far to leave you here. Hallelujah. There's greater heights and deeper depths. And I want to know. Oh yes, I want to know. I want to see my Redeemer. Because he did not brought us this far to leave us now. Because he's a holy God. What he said, he mean what he says. Hallelujah. So all the people were drowned in. All of them. And God said, Sister Wendy, please, could you please come and please? This is what God says. When he look around and see all them dead bodies. Now, if I was a sinner, I would really read now and really look at it because if you're in your stove and a little hot water burn you, you run and cry. <laughs> now think about fire and brimstone. It's, it's going to be a hot it's going to be a hot day. I said it's going to be a hot day. It, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad for the sinner pastor. It's going to be bad. It's going it to be a bad day. My God, it's going to be a bad day. When the first trumpet shall sound, my God have mercy. If I die, I want to rise up. Oh yes, I want to rise up. And I'm not looking to rise up in this body. No, sir. I shall be changed from mortal to immortality. Glory! Where I shall see my king. And I'll be crying holy. Holy. And then I shall see my crown. I am not here to judge no one. You're not here to judge me either. This is what we hear as Christian people. Cheer up one another. Because when I get to heaven I'll be looking for you. Hallelujah. You can preach your last song or you can sing your last song. You can in your house and say your last prayer. You don't know. You can get up and get in your car and you never start it. Death comes knocking. We have to be vigilant. Glory. We have to let God use us and use us in a mighty way. That if we lay down and the trumpet sound, we awaken. Glory. And the Bible said, we shall be changed. 
Isn't that great? Isn't that great? If, you, if you're sick and you got cancer and the trumpet sound and Jesus is coming. God, that cancer die immediately. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you have high blood pressure and the trumpet sound. Hallelujah. No more sickness. Glory. If you're in the hospital and the doctor has a parade on you. My God, you're changed out of this body. Woo. Glory. We shall be changed. Yes. My God of mercy. If you're dying on your bed and the trumpet sound, you change. God of mercy. Hallelujah. Sister Wendy, you could be driving your van to the house of God and the trumpet sound and you change. Could you please stand? God have mercy. God, if you are if you are at the workplace and the trumpet sound, God, 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 God. Hallelujah. If you are in the restroom preaching and the trumpet sound. God, 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 God. If you're driving your truck on the trumpet, you shall be changed. If you're cooking on the trumpet, sound, you shall be changed. God, if you're in the classroom on the trumpet, sound, you shall be changed. Glory. Hallelujah. If you're at work at night on the trumpet, sound, you shall be changed. And I worship you. Who, if you lie down crying and praying and the trumpet sound, shall be changed. Glory. My God, if you're playing that organ and the trumpet sound, you shall be changed. Have mercy. Hallelujah. Oh God, you could sit in your seat and the trumpet sound, you shall be changed. Oh glory, my God, you shall be changed. Brother Rogers, you're at the job. Put it on them blocks, I put the trumpet sound. You shall be changed. God, you could be sitting in your bed thinking about Jesus. The trumpet sound shall be changed. So in the morning you could be walking to church. Glory. And there goes a loud trumpet sound. You shall be changed. God have mercy. Brother Mike, you could be preaching in Ferndale. Warm and bright on the morning. Glory. My God, you should say, come to Jesus, but the trumpet sound. You shall be changed. Pastor Rinfro, I know you take them trips to the foreign land. But you could be in the plane and the trumpet sound, my God. God, you shall be changed. Oh God, I worship you. My God, I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. So that when the pastor can be coming back and the trumpet sound, he shall be changed. Glory, hallelujah. You may be going through the door in your wheelchair and the trumpet sound, you shall be changed. God have mercy. Church, what a day that will be when my Savior I shall see. When I look upon his face. We shall be changed. I said we shall be changed. Oh God of mercy, we shall be changed. 
Glory. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your glory. Could you grab somebody by the hand for me, please? Just hold somebody by the hand. We're going to pray like this is our last prayer we pray. Glory. Because we may never know. We may never know. Oh, God, Sister Wendy, I'm going to put my hand on your shoulder. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you, Lord. God, your word is true. That we shall be changed. My God, we shall be changed out of this earthly body, Lord. My God, and put on a heavenly body, my God. Oh God, we thank you for the blood on the cross glory we are your children Jesus my God every sickness in the name of Jesus my God every stress my God glory but God tonight all we know my God one day we shall be changed oh glory hallelujah God we shall be changed from mortal to immortality God, with your power, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. If anyone cares to join the altar. But we prayed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's gather around the altar and let's, before we leave, let's have a word of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord, thank you for the promise of being changed. One more river to cross, one more mountain to climb, one more valley that I gotta go through, leaving my trouble behind. One more battle with the devil, and I know you'll understand. But I'm going through with Jesus, hallelujah. Home to his nail scarred hand. Home to his nail scarred hand. One more river to cross, one more mountain to climb. One more valley that I gotta go through, leaving my troubles behind. One more battle with the devil, and I know you'll understand. Cause I'm going through with Jesus, hallelujah. Hold to his nail scarred hand, hold to his nail scarred hand. One more river to cross, one more mountain to climb. One more valley that I gotta go through, leaving my troubles behind. One more devil, and I know you'll understand. I'm going through with Jesus, hallelujah. Hold to his nail scarred hand. Hold to his nail scarred hand. One more river to cross. One more mountain to climb. One more valley that I gotta go through. Leaving my troubles behind. One more devil, and I know he'll understand. I'm going through with Jesus, hallelujah. Hold to his nail scarred hand. On to his nail scarred hand. One more river to cross. One more mountain to climb. One more valley that I gotta go through. Leaving my troubles behind. One more battle with the devil. And I know he'll understand. Cause I'm going through with Jesus. Hallelujah. Holding to his nail scarred hand. Holding to his nail scarred hand. One more river to cross, one more mountain to climb, one more valley that I gotta go through, leaving my troubles behind. One more battle with the devil, and I know you'll understand, cause I'm going through with Jesus, hallelujah, holding to his nail scarred hand, holding to his nail scarred hand. One more river to cross. One more mountain to climb, one more valley that I gotta go through, leaving my troubles behind. 
One more battle with the devil, and I know he'll understand. Cause I'm going through with Jesus, hallelujah. Hold to his nail scarred hand. Hold to his nail scarred hand. One more river to cross. One more mountain to climb. One more valley that I gotta go through. Leaving my jaws behind. One more battle with the devil, and I know he'll understand. Cause I'm going through with Jesus, hallelujah. Hold to his nail scarred hand. Hold to his nail scarred hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a praise. I've read that the scripture says man that's born of woman his days are few and full of trouble and when those days come the enemy comes you can tell him I'm going to be changed though I'm not going to be in this trouble and I'm not going to have this pain always but devil you're heading to a place you're going to be bound for eternity. You're going to be in the lake of fire. And I'm not going to have no more pain. Because I'm going to be changed. Amen. Hallelujah. Going to be changed. Already am. But you still get sickness and pain. That old back sometimes and legs get hurting you. But one day, when that change takes place, no more pain, no more sorrow ever to be with Him. Now, we have that promise. We that believe the Lord Jesus Christ and what His Word says, and this world has no hope unless we tell them about Jesus. There is hope. See, even in death, just as we have a birthday, mine's August the 13th, and I've got a death day too. It's going to happen. The Lord's tarry. And if He doesn't tarry, this old body, this can't inherit it's going to be changed <laughs> the immortality would you stand with us are you ready to be changed my wife say Lord hurry up and change my husband change my husband we're so glad that you're here let's not forget brother Mike mentioned about the celebration of the graduates and uh, happening Saturday at 5.30 5.30 here at the Fellowship Hall in the church we're getting closer to the parking hopefully we'll be done I said we like we got a mouse in the pocket but Brother Rob will be done the, having the our parking lot drive finished hopefully this week and we'll be able to drive in there on uh Sunday, thank you for your patience. Parking other places uh, until we get that, and we just so much do appreciate it. Uh, what you've done, Brother Mike, dismiss us in a word of prayer.